Hey guys, this is Azdajuki, and today I got something pretty cool to show you. So, let me set the scene. We're just about to go to bed, but then we realize we just can't get to sleep. We're so, so awake. We need a bedtime story. And then we look out the window and re realize that we left our book over there in the shed. And it's getting dark out, and mobs are going to be spawning any second. Hmm. Let's fix that. Now, we can easily run over to our shed in safety without having any troubles of mobs spawning and eating us alive. We can go into the shed. We can grab our book from here. Quickly run back inside without any harm. This is the hipster light post. Now we can read our wonderful bedtime story and finally get to sleep. So then when we wake up in the morning, we can pack them away like nothing ever happened and have our wonderful, beautiful, open lawn back to its original state. Awesome. So guys, here's the mechanism itself. It's extremely small. It is 8 by 9 by 7 deep. It's, it's very compact as you can see. If you try and break, break any block in here, it's pretty much going to pop something off. It's quite ridiculous. Very minimal air blocks. And yeah, it's extremely quick, and I'm going to show you guys a quick little demo of one running right there. Now as far as inputs go into this thing, there are two. So we have one input that can come in right here, in, out of a mono stable, like that, and that'll be the input for bringing it back down underground, and then the input for bringing it up can go right here, secondary mono stable, just like that. So that one will bring it out of the ground, that one will put it back in. So, it's super easy to chain these together. All you need is a centralized line that just runs into each of the monostables. So you have one that runs into each of them for what brings it out, and then one that retracts it back and puts it all back together, which is the red line in here. Really, really simple. All you gotta do is chain them off each other. It's that easy. One other quick thing to note is this actually is practical. <laughs> kinda weird, right? So as we can see, BL, which is next to the thing that says jungle, it never goes below eight. So this is completely safe for hostile mob spawning, and you won't get any spawns on this grassed area. So, works quite well. So grass will never die in this machine, because when it gets pulled down, it gets put on this block down here. That way, it will never have a block directly above it. That way the grass will never die on it, and then when it gets pulled back out, it's always fresh grass, not horrible dirt. So, one other thing to mention is this pop-up light post is also a hipster door. That's why the word hipster is in its name. So if I hit this button, we can actually form a completely glass wall. So at first glance, this this would seem to not be able to be a door at all because there's no redstone above the ground. That's the definition of, of a hipster door. Can't see any redstone above ground. And here it goes. So I'm gonna suck it back in underneath and replace the floor block. So thanks guys for watching. I really appreciate it. There will be downloads in the description, both MC Edit schematic file and a world save. Now, if you guys want to see a tutorial for this, please let me know. I would be very happy to do one. So yeah, I just need to know whether you guys would like that or not. And yeah, other than that, I wish you all a very happy, happy Christmas. And I hope you have fun with family and whatever it is you do on Christmas. And I really hope you enjoy it. Yeah, thanks guys, and I will see you later.